Now fertility preservation is an effort to help cancerous and non-cancerous patient retain their fertility and their ability to procreate. The indications for fertility preservation first of course is all patients with cancer that is going to affect their reproductive health. Patients undergoing chemotherapy or radiotherapy. Any form of surgical treatment that could happen in your genital organs. Anyone who is suffering from rheumatological disorders which is either going to affect their fertility or require treatment in form of drugs that's going to suppress their fertility. And a very important is the age-related decline in fertility which is very pertinent in this age. If you're not committed or you're committed and planning your family later on and your age is ticking, the best option for you is fertility preservation. What are the options of fertility preservation? Embryo cryopreservation preservation is the best. If you're married or have a committed partner, undergo an in vitro fertilization, form your embryos and freeze them. If you're not, oocyte freezing or egg freezing is a good option. There's a third option which is known as ovarian tissue cryopreservation, preservation, wherein a small chunk of your ovary is removed and put back later on into the same place after the treatment is over. But the previous two are better. If you don't want to undergo in vitro fertilization, there are certain small other forms which can help you. One is ovarian shielding, wherein your gonads are shielded from all kinds of harmful radiation. Second is gonadal transposition, which means your ovary is put at a place other than its normal place away from your area of radiation. And the third one is ovarian suppression, wherein some form of treatment is given to suppress your ovaries during treatment. These are some form of treatment that you can definitely explore if you, your friend or your family member, any one of them falls into the indication of fertility preservation. Because remember, with these form of cancer treatments, life expectancy is increasing. And the aim of treatment for cancer is not just living long, it's just living as normal as possible to the fullest. Thank you.